everyone, it's Sarah Jane from Bella Coco and today I'm going to do just a quick update on my Invisalign treatment. If you didn't see my very first video, I'll leave a link in the description box below so you can watch that. I go through the procedure of, you know, thinking about having a kind of breaks, why I chose Invisalign, uh, the consultation and all of that. So that will be linked in the description box below. Um, the last video I did was just after Christmas, so it's been a couple of months since since then. And the last video I talked about the fact that I was going for an appointment in a couple of days' time to have my slenderizing done and to have my buttons attached. I was a little bit nervous about that because I wasn't sure, you know, how it was going to feel. Was it going to hurt? Um, it was a bit of a case of, you know, fear of the unknown. And when I went for my appointment, um. I'll tell you something, it was absolutely fine. Uh, I went there and they checked that the aligners were fitting properly, they flossed in between my teeth, they checked my teeth, um, and then they did the slenderizing. Now this wasn't done on every single um, tooth, so between every single tooth. Um, it was only done on specific teeth because specific teeth need to move in a certain way. So it's just making a small gap between um, those particular teeth so that they can move a little bit better. And what they do is they start off with a finer grade of file and just go in between um, and then get to a more coarse file. Now when I had this I was expecting to be able to see a gap between the teeth where they'd done it but you couldn't at all so it's only very very minute. It didn't hurt in any way, it didn't particularly feel nice but it wasn't uncomfortable or anything like that they really put me at ease I think the worst thing about it was just the noise in your head that you could um, hear I think when you have things done to your teeth you can hear it in your head um, like quite loud so it was just the noise more than anything but it, it felt absolutely fine it didn't hurt so if you are in that position now where you've got your Invisalign fitted and you're going for your slenderizing and you're feeling a bit nervous don't worry it's absolutely fine um, at that appointment they also put on the what they call buttons and I have I think four on one side at the top three on the other and then two on each side at the bottom. Now again, these are um, put to specific teeth and each button is a slightly different shape. Um, some are bigger, some are smaller and they are designed to push your teeth in a very specific way. Um, having them put on, again, was absolutely fine. You just get a, a bit of a bitter taste in your mouth where they're actually adhering it to your actual teeth. So when you take your aligners off, they are still actually attached to your own teeth. They can feel a bit spiky at first, but to be honest, because you've got your aligners on the majority of the time, they don't really cause um, a problem at all. So they went on, and they do make them look a little bit more visible, but still, you know, not many people notice. So that's a big thumbs up to that. Comfort wise, they have been absolutely fine. I've had no problems. I did have, um, you know, quite a few ulcers and things on my tongue and on my on my lips when I first had them fitted. But I do definitely think that my mouth has really got used to having the aligners in now. And to be honest with you, a lot of the time I actually forget that I've got them in. Whipping them out when you want a you know, a drink or something to eat is absolutely fine as well. I think you really do just get used to having them and then um, dealing with them. Definitely the first couple of weeks that I had them in, you know, it was something that I was extremely conscious of, but now I don't think of it at all. And it's funny because um, somebody else who I know, actually one of my students, she's had it fitted and she was going through exactly the same thing as what I went through at the very beginning. But seriously, you do, you do get used to it. So I'm now actually on my ninth aligner, so um, I'm on this one here, and this is my ninth aligner out of 34, and to say that I'm still quite at the beginning of my treatment, I am so surprised at how much they have moved already. Um, I have been taking pictures um, throughout that period or throughout this first four months that I've had it done and I can't believe the difference that I can see. I will insert a picture of when I very first had the aligners fitted and now. You will also see in that bottom picture that I have um, the buttons attached. 
I definitely do think that in real life that you can see more of a difference than you can do in the picture. But to say that I'm only on my ninth aligner, I'm so happy with the result I've had so far. And I cannot wait to see what they look like at the end. They're, they're going to be super straight, which I'm going to love. So I will do another update and I'll probably do that towards the end of June, beginning of July, because that's just before my wedding. Um, just before the wedding in July, I'm actually going to go and have my buttons taken off and pause my treatment for a period of about a month um, so that I can have my wedding and feel confident about being in pictures and things like that. After all, this is the uh, main reason why I'm having it done. I know my treatment will continue after that, but, you know, from the results I can see so far, I'm, I think I'm going to be really happy with, um, you know, the way my teeth are looking at the time of the wedding. So I will be pausing my treatment for a month, which will just push it on a little bit further into the future. But I'm absolutely fine with that. And all I'll do is wear a, an aligner at night just to keep them in place. So yeah, I'll do another update at the end of June, beginning of July. In the meantime, if you do have any questions that you don't think I've answered yet, please leave me a comment in the comment section and I'll get back to you with those answers. I really hope that you're enjoying having updates on my experience and that it's helping you if it's something that you're considering doing. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again next time. Bye.